Hey everyone, and welcome to the Corona Cast, Words of Hope in a Land Without Hand Sanitizer. I pray you're doing well. Today I thought we might sing Lead On, O King Eternal. Lead on, O King Eternal, the day of march has come. Henceforth in fields of conquest, the tent shall be our home. Through days of preparation, your grace has made us strong. And now, O King Eternal, we lift our battle song. Lead on, O King Eternal, till sin's fierce war shall cease. And holiness shall whisper the sweet amen of peace. For not with swords loud clash, no rolling stirring drums, with deeds of love and mercy the heavenly kingdom comes. Our reading today comes from the 16th chapter of Acts. They went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. When they had come off opposite of Mysa, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So passing by Mysia, they went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we were immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. One of the things that this last um, couple of months has taught me is that even if I don't like it, sometimes I have to fail. Uh, I wish I could show you right now. I spent about an hour, hour and a half today trying to figure out how to get this camera to talk to the computer so we could make it burn DVDs so that we could continue our ministries to the shut-ins. And there are times when I am so discouraged, and I'm sure you are as well, as we look for ways to continue to make things work, as we look for what it is that we are called to do and how we can be effective, it seems like sometimes doors are slammed in our faces. And over and over again, I come to Paul's vision of the man in Macedonia because I think of the fact that it is so powerful that Paul, the greatest apostle that ever was, tried and failed, tried and failed, and finally was told by Jesus, y'all, just let them go. This is not the time. And then Paul is shown his purpose, and he goes to Macedonia. When I think about where it is that God leads us, it seems like we're engaged in this creative process where I say, I think this is what God wants, and God's like, well, not quite. I think this is what God wants. And oftentimes, amazing and powerful things come out of that. One of the things that I'm trying to be more willing to do is to hear when God says no, and then to hear what God says, this is where you are called to be. I hope that y'all are doing well. I hope that you see where God is leading you. If there's anything your church can do, please let us know and let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for all the ways you lead us. We ask that you would continue to watch over us now and in the days to come. In your name we pray. Amen.